All right, I just want to do another quick video showing some more of the wonderful fruit that comes out of this uh, new IFB cult, Steven Anderson's new IFB cult. I've done videos exposing them. I used to be part of this whole cult uh, from 2017, June of 2017 to around March of 2019 is when I broke away. And uh, this cult is uh, incredibly toxic. And, you know, in this, these clips I'm going to show, it shows the kind of, uh, it shows the kind of uh, wicked mentality these guys have. And uh, in this case, they're actually subtly giving grounds to using full-on profanity, like throwing around F-bombs and that kind of stuff. And you think I'm just, you know, oh, you're, you're, you're slandering them. You're not, you're, you, I mean, they would never do that. Well, let's see about that. In this particular clip, you have a Bruce Mejia, one of the acolytes of Steven Anderson, uh, gives this other guy another, another acolyte of, of uh, Steven Anderson, who looks like a clone, by the way, of Anderson. I mean, I mean, it's insane, but his name is a Jonathan Shelley, that's the guy's name, uh, gives him uh, permission, essentially, to uh, throw around F-bombs in, in this uh, sermon he was going to do at First Works Baptist Church, is what it was called. So, if you think I'm making this up, check it out for yourself. Like, he, I told him, like, hey, you want to come preach for our church? He's like, well, I don't know, are you okay with me saying the F-bomb in your church? <laughs> And he was obviously being facetious about it, and I'm just like, damn, what kind of sermon was that? <laughs> what has he got planned? And I was just like, I mean, I guess, you know, it's like, yippee ki -yay. I mean, I guess, you know, it's like, yeah. Oh, but if you thought that was all, brace for impact, because there's more. I got my receipts. Uh, this other clip is, again, Bruce Mejia, you know. I mean, this guy, he, he's, he's really good for a laugh at times, but um, he actually uses, he basically does a full-on F-bomb after uh, he, you know, goes on some thing in his first works back to church while, while sporting a little gangster pose. Thinks he's all cool, high, and mighty, doesn't he? But, I mean, just, I mean, blatant, raw, uncut violations of Ephesians 4.28, you know. But, hey, what's to be expected from this new IFB call? Check it out. Oh, I just take the mic I'm and just. For my turn to speak. <laughs> yeah, hey, you guys, loosen, you guys got to loosen up yeah. a little bit. We got, we got, <laughs> this is only gonna work if we do it the way we typically talk after church. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, don't be scared, homie. Minus the F, minus the F bombs. 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 Minus the F bombs. Don't be scared, homie. Because I'm looking at Hike and Hike's like. Yeah, and I'm going to say this again. It ties back to what I was saying in some of my other videos of the fact that there's no internet pastors and that you have to have a pastor who you know personally and you know meets qualification in 1 Timothy 3, verse 1 to 7. You know, if you, I mean, even just on the internet, what these guys, you know, blast, you know, essentially how much these guys and, and just full on disgrace themselves on, on, uh, on the internet is already bad enough and shows how they don't meet the qualifications. But I'd guarantee you, if you were to actually see them physically, you know, in their churches, it would be a whole lot worse. But I mean, this is just what they, you know, let slip out on the internet and it's already bad enough. But again, this is why there are no internet pastors anywhere in the Bible. You can look throughout the thing, there's, there's not one. And this is what happens when you follow some guy on the internet. And, and again, they're, mir they're kind of mirroring essentially the kind of fruit that comes from Anderson because Anderson would use profanity. And so what's the result of this cult? Because you see, they're not founded upon Jesus Christ. They're founded upon Anderson. See, without Anderson, there would be no new IFB. And without the internet, there would be no Steven Anderson. Pretty much plain and simple. Because if God didn't make Anderson's cult, the internet made Anderson's cult. So anyway, it just shows they're just mirroring the kind of fruit and spirit that Steven Anderson has. Who he himself obviously got from Jack Hiles. I mean, Jack Hiles, like, he was he's something else. I could do a whole video on that guy. That guy was pretty wicked, but what's to be expected? Don't be deceived by this new IFB cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.